The blood moon is coming. It might sound a bit gory and terrifying, and some people will try to convince you that it is, but it's not. It's just a spectacular lunar eclipse. Now, a lunar eclipse occurs when you have the sun and the moon, and the earth moves right in between them, blocking out all of the light that would normally reach the moon from the sun. What light there is has to take a longer journey to get round the Earth, and as it does so, it stretches out and becomes more red. Once that hits the moon and is reflected back to us, it looks like a kind of uh, gory, bloody red, and that's where the name Blood Moon comes from. One of the amazing things about a lunar eclipse is that they're actually really easy to see. As long as you can see the moon at the right time, you can see the lunar eclipse. And it's gonna be even easier than normal this time around because it's extra special. It's the longest lunar eclipse this century. And that's just a consequence of the way that the moon and the sun and the earth have, have lined up this time around. One of the most amazing things about lunar eclipse is, unlike other astronomical events, all you have to do is walk outside and look up at the moon if you want to see it. Um, when you do, it'll be a glowing red from the light that's reaching it from the sun. And if you want to take a picture of it, all you do is point your camera at the, at the moon. And seeing it should be even more easy than normal because this time around it's going to be the longest lunar eclipse of the century. It means that if you head out on Friday evening at just about any time after sunset, you should be able to see the glowing red moon in the sky. So one of the now uh, traditional things about a blood moon is that a load of strange people on the internet, um, including some of our newspapers, decide that it's reason that the world is going to end. Um, we've had this repeatedly and the world hasn't ended, but it's happening this time around again. Um, all I can do is assure you that the, the blood moon uh, doesn't mean anything apart from a kind of routine uh, lineup of, of three planets. It'll be very spectacular, but it won't be apocalyptic.